Good morning. Today we're here at Meyer. We're going to go in and check out some of the sales prices for the week, some of the things you guys have asked about, and check the shelves. Let's get to it. Okay, so as soon as we come into Meyer here, I wanted to point out some of the dog food. We've been getting comments that people have been having trouble finding their dog and cat food again. So we like to point this stuff out. I do notice that Purina 1 did go up. $1.79 a can for these. $1.95 a can now and some of the other ones. $2.25. That's kind of crazy price. They do have a good amount of pedigree. As we can see though, a lot of the cheaper ones are gone. Um, you know, $1.44 for those. The next cheapest is $1.89. For the high protein now they do have some of the multi packs here uh, and again as I always say we got a lot of viewers that shop on chewy.com to get their pet food uh, and if it's in your service area anything over $49 is free shipping um, now I've been hearing that prices have been going up a little bit on chewy uh, so we got to watch out for that but I did want to show this they're really spreading this out here. Now, this is a very big aisle. They do have a good amount of dog food, but they are really spreading out these Caesar packets. Also, $1.29 a piece here, making it pretty much one of the cheapest around. Uh, pretty much everywhere we go, uh, anywhere from $1.40 to $1.50 uh, for one packet. Meyer just may not be the place to come right now to get your dry dog food. It is pretty, they got the IMs down there, or the yams. I like to say yams, I don't know why, but <laughs> um, as you can see here, this is very empty. Uh, not good, we've been getting a lot of comments. Like I said before, a lot of comments on pet food again. So I wanted to cover this right away. Ugh, same goes for cat food here. They are very low, very low, especially on some of the bigger bags. Um, you know, low on the wet food too. Surprisingly, you know, Meyer has been pretty good. Now they do have a good amount of Fancy Feast here. And, you know, like I said, these are big aisles dedicated to pet food. So it's gonna look probably smaller than what it would look like at Kroger or something, just because the aisle is so huge. Uh, Friskies here, 78 cents a can. Uh, we've been seeing them right about 80 cents a can. 80 cents a can at Kroger, uh, 80 cents a can at uh, Target. But again, you know, this is very low. I do have the Sheba packets. All they have is the pate, though. I know nobody, no cats like the pate. Maybe some of them, but all the comments that we get, they like the cuts and stuff. They do have the Fancy Feast, 88 cents a can, uh, 90 cents a can at Kroger, so a couple pennies cheaper. And they have some of the more expensive Fancy Feast medleys down here for $1.14. These are pretty much the same price everywhere. Before I got started on some of these sales, I wanted to show Myers, I guess, is starting a buy five and save five. Uh, look for signed items across the store. All items must be purchased in single transaction. So I believe that this is you have to buy five items to save five. It doesn't say five or more like Kroger's. Uh, so you might have to buy in multiples of five. I'm not really too sure. It's not too clear on that. Um, does look like some decent deals here, but let's go over the coffee. Uh, they do have some Dunkin Donuts. Uh, these are still 12 ounces. Now we've been hearing that Dunkin in some places has gone down to 10 ounces. So we're going to keep an eye out on that, uh, making this not a great deal at all. But these are the 12 ounces for $7.99. They do have the 8 o'clock coffee on sale for $4.99 this week. Um, Mick Cafe down there on sale for $6.99. Regular price $7.39, so not as big of a sale. Uh, and yes, yeah, we've seen with Pete's coffee, it has shrinkflated to 10.5 ounces for the ground coffee for $11.99. Now we saw um, 11, we saw it for $12.49 at Kroger the other day, so 50 cents cheaper than that. And okay, maybe this will buy five and save five, mix or match. Final price when you buy five. So I don't know if you have to buy multiples of five or if this is everything after five. I believe it's multiples of five, otherwise it would say something. They do have Starbucks on sale, ground coffee, $6.99 this week down from $9.49. Um, some of the pods, same prices. Uh, Frederick's coffee, it is kind of funny that for the Frederick's by Meyer, Meyer's like that's their premium brand. 
They are $5.59 for the ground coffee, but not on sale for the pods. Usually when we see the ground coffee on sale, we'll see the pods on sale too. Not this week. See, like here, they do have the Dunkin' Pods on sale for $6.99 and all Green Mountain coffees, $6.99, including the original donut shop, $6.99. And see, regular prices on these are really starting to get pretty high. This was $7.99 just a little over a month ago. So, you know, we're, we're seeing some really high prices in the stores. Um, Tim Hortons, save a dollar this week, $6.99. So it doesn't look like many places are getting Folgers in. I, I just can't imagine people buying up this much all the time. We saw last week. Now they must have got some classic roast in, but I don't think they got anything else in. They are getting big cans of the 100% Colombian big cans, quote. Uh, it is 37 ounces, but $14.99. That's ugh, $10.79 for the classic roast here. 25.9 ounces, which is $1 cheaper than it is at Kroger. I don't know. They do have Maxwell House on sale this week. Looks like pretty much all the different brands here, $8.49 down from $10.19, so that's an okay deal. I see here that they have condensed their aisle of Capri Sun and Kool-Aid. I don't think Myers is really getting as much in, or they're not buying as much because of all the issues. If we remember last year, Kool-Aid was on a huge recall right about this time, and now... Now, I don't know about this, but this is the one everybody was talking about. Uh, apparently, there was a recall on Capri Sun, and I think it was Wild Cherry. But a couple people mentioned that in the comments. I don't know for sure. Uh, but there is very few Capri Suns here. So. so an employee just told me that the Wild Cherry that is on there would not be recalled. If they have a recall, it will not allow you to check out. They already have those processed. So whatever's been done or whatever the recall is it won't allow you to check it out if it's something on the recall but they have switched that over so that's good to know so i found a buy five and save five deal on pomolov one thing i wanted to show here like a couple weeks ago somebody left a comment that they've been having trouble finding dawn soap well it is very low here doesn't look like they're getting much in uh, i will say the price is pretty good 446 we've seen the um, 28 ounces go for over $5, so a little cheaper than that. Uh, whoa. Sounds like a kid down there wants to leave. <laughs> Look at this. Looks like Meyer is following suit with all the other stores around here. Somebody notice something here? 209. Now, milk had gotten as high as 329. It was 309 when we noticed the initial blast of change. And 209 now. Wow, that's awesome. So it's dropped a dollar a gallon, over a dollar a gallon. I will say too, they have got a ton of half and half and heavy whipping cream. We've been getting a lot of comments on both of these. Uh, it does look like Meyer's doing a good job of getting it in. And some of the refrigerated creamers here, got the, even got the Dunkin' here, 385. Uh, some of the Starbucks, they're pretty expensive, but uh, they got some of the coffee made ones here, 419, that's a little higher. These were 379 not that long ago. Um, but yeah, got the bigger coffee mates here. Now these are seven dollars, but we've seen them as high as seven seventy nine, uh, seven fifty nine at Kro or, uh, Target, and seven fifty. It was seven fifty nine at Kroger. I think it went up to seven seventy nine. That keeps going up in price, so that's definitely a little cheaper there. They do have some of the delight creamers on sale here for two ninety nine, down from three fifty nine. Uh, might be time to come to Meyer for your coffee needs. If you guys remember a couple weeks ago I was talking about cottage cheese and sour cream looking like it was going to be an issue well we have gotten a couple comments that cottage cheese has been very low in the stores lately and even though it does look like they have a good amount of sour cream it's it's definitely lower than what they normally have usually this is packed to the gills um, now they do have one daisy sour cream here uh, 24 ounces part of the buy five and save five mix or match deal 239 when you take part in that deal i i'm gonna have to ask them i should have asked that lady i'm not sure if this is multiples of five or anything over five so i did ask a manager and he said it is multiples of five so you can't do six or seven but it is all mix and match he made that very clear uh because i guess a lot of people were thinking that you had to buy five of the same thing but you know 
I mean, it does say mix or match on there, but you know, I don't know. If you're walking through the store and you don't grab an ad, it's not very clear on anything. Um, but they do have a lot of peanut butter here. Uh, we've been getting more and more comments on peanut butter. Uh, the Peter Pan Honey Roast, it's probably my new favorite. Uh, Jif, we still don't feel comfortable buying Jif, especially right as they come back after a major recall. They raise it up in price. $6.39 here is a little better than we've seen it for 40 ounces. In some stores, it's been uh, $7. So definitely a little cheaper here on the Jif. Uh, $4.59 for the 28 ounces. And $2.89 for the 16 ounces. These are $2.99 at Kroger. I did just notice that they raised their all-purpose King Arthur flour to $5.19. This was under $5 last week. Uh, five pounds of it for $5.19. Um, yeah, I had a feeling it was going to be good. Kroger's $6.49, so I don't know. I guess Myers has some special kind of deal worked out. I will say that a lot of their flour is pretty low. Like, I mean, they have fronted all this stuff, but they don't have much. And look at this, not much Domino sugar. They do have plenty of their sugar, <laughs> I will say that. Uh, some of the confectionate sugar here, <coughs> powdered sugar here, $1.75. That's actually cheaper for two pounds than we've seen in a lot of places. We've seen it over $2. Uh, the brown sugar, same price, two seventy-five or one seventy-five, I mean. And they do have some of the bigger bags that they haven't had in a while, so that's good. Somebody had requested that I check out the Damonte canned fruits. Uh, they're the same price here. We've been here and they've been going up though. Uh, $2.19 has been the price for a while. It's been a while since it was $1.98. Um, they do have the fruit cups. We got comments on these too. $2.99 here at Meyer. We'll have to check at Kroger. I do notice that they have condensed these and added more things, mostly because they're not getting many. Uh, you know, Kroger's is probably the biggest store out of all the stores I go to that get the most Dole fruit cups in. And if you guys remember last year, these were gone. Like, these were one of those items that we just couldn't find anywhere. Um, and we were pointing out the Meyer ones because it seemed like even the Kroger brand, you know, there was very few. I remember Kroger had the pineapple ones because uh, a lot of people were getting those. Uh, and they were 250 back then, so Myers is still 250 here. I think the I think the Kroger version is 279, but it's been a while since we've checked, so we'll have to check there here in a couple days. But at least it's another option. I know I'm skipping over a lot of the sales today, mostly because we're going over a lot of the things that people haven't been able to find in the stores. The list is starting to mount up again, like last year. We were covering a lot. We were trying to find things. We were spending our whole time trying to find things for people, different stores, value stores, if you want to call it that. Uh, now they do have the Crisco 48 ounces here and they are $5.99. Okay, so they they just haven't sold all the 40 ounces yet, I guess, or 48 ounces, because they do have the 40 ounces right here. They are $5.99, $6.49 at Kroger, which is insane. They do have the Meyer vegetable oil back in. It doesn't look like they really got much. I mean, you know, they got enough, but they, this was empty last week. Uh, 309 for that, making that a very cheap price. That, that could be why. 365 for canola oil. That's quite a jump from vegetable to canola store brands. Uh, some people were asking about the Mazzola uh, cooking oil that you haven't been able to find it. These have shrunk as well to 40 ounces now somebody was saying that this this was like 7.99 where you are uh it's not that expensive here but it is 5.29 that has gone up a little bit uh, and they do have sunflower oil and corn oil both uh we've been here and have been hard to find this is the only place i've been able to find sunflower oil five dollars and 49 cents for that these both are 48 ounces well when it rains it pours um it's like they're very low on salt. I see one back here, the regular salt, and then they have the Meyer here, 59 cents. They got the Morton's on sale for $1.19. $1.39 regular price for the thing of salt. That's crazy. Uh, they do have some of the Himalayan salt here that somebody asked about. This seems a little pricey, $4.19. Um, but yeah, that's, that's crazy. That's very low for salt. I know we had the same issue last year. Uh, we're definitely gonna have to keep our eyes on it. Uh, now, Meyer, as most of you guys know, is one place I always recommend. If you're looking for those special kind of spices, um, which they're low on a lot of it, but they have a ton of different spices. Even though Meyer has really 
condensed their aisle of spaghetti also. They do have some Barilla in. It is $1.89 a box, um, which is pretty high. I mean, that's comparable to a lot of other stores right now. We've even seen Barilla as high as $2. Now, they do still have the Meyer brand here uh, for a dollar. Now, we haven't seen regular spaghetti here in a while, probably because people were buying it up because it's pretty cheap. Um, but they do have... Oh, look. Here's some lasagna here. Somebody was looking for lasagna noodles. So they do have that. And they have cremette. Now, Kermit went up here, um, it was $1.22 a box. I know that was a weird number, but $1.22 up to $1.39 a box. And they do have some of the DiCecco down there. Okay, so I wanted to get up front here and check out some of these sales going on. Looks like they got these beautiful looking cantaloupes here, two for $4. You do have to buy two of them. Also looks like they have all of the grapes on sale, the black, red, and green grapes, $1.99 a pound. And we're getting kind of pricey here at Meijer. Uh, anywhere from $2.49 a pound for the black and red. Regular price of the green grapes, $2.99 a pound, so not too bad. They do have their blueberries on sale for $2.99. So they just went up in price, regular price now, $3.15. That's crazy. <laughs> they raised the price to make it look like it's a sale. I, I don't know these days, guys. It's not just Meyer. It's, it's happening everywhere. They do have the sweet cherries here, $5.99 a pound. That is up from the sale of $4.99 a pound, but at least I got them. They do have their seedless watermelons for $5.99. Looks like that's pretty much the going price for watermelons all around here right now. $3.89 for a personal watermelon. You might as well spend two more dollars and get one two or three times the size. Ugh. One pound of the golden kiwi fruit that we always get great comments on is now $4.79. $4.79 for one pound. $10.99 at Costco for three pounds. They do have their celery on sale for $1.79, which is what the regular price was a couple months ago. Regular price now is $2.29. That is up from the regular price a couple weeks ago of $2.19, which was still too high. So somebody was asking me if I could try and find some broccoli here at Meyer. The only broccoli they have here, they do not have fresh over here. Um, all you can get is what's in the plastic, and I know some people are having an issue with that. Uh, we're not seeing a lot of stickers up here on the prices, so I don't, you know, maybe this stuff is going up, maybe it's going down, who knows. Uh, they do have this cabbage here. Yeah, I don't, no fresh broccoli here. Haven't seen any at Kroger. Uh, the only place, surprisingly, I've seen it regularly is Walmart. They do have these mandarins here, a uh, three pound bag of them for on the buy five and save five. Remember, it's, it's you have to buy five. You basically, this is what you're gonna pay when you buy five items of the participating product. You can mix or match. It's not five or more. You have to buy multiples of five but you don't have to buy multiples of oranges. You can get any five items that is on this deal. Uh, I haven't seen as much as I thought I would. Um, 469 for these seems a little high. We've been seeing these on sale anywhere from 349 to uh, 399, but regular price, they've, there's just been a lot of sales because regular prices are right around 549. I guess theirs is 569. So I did just notice that the one pound of the 99% lean Genio did go up from $5.49 to $5.99, and this one is the same price, the 93% lean, but that did go up there. We got some comments that the Genio products have been going up the ground turkey breast, so not too surprised to see that go up 50 cents there. Don't know if there's a sale on hamburger. What is this? 90-10 hamburger, $6.99 a pound. Jeez. Yeah, that still sounds expensive, but I mean, it's cheaper than like your Laura's Lean or stuff like that. They do have their Meyer hamburger back in the 80-20. Nope, this is 75-25, $4.99 a pound. They do have their T-Bones back on sale here, $7.99 a pound. Regular price, $12.49 a pound. This is a great deal, guys. They did this a few weeks ago. Uh, yeah, something you can buy up and freeze for later. It's a good deal. Best deal we've seen on these... I yeah, just noticed they have their Eckrich uh, Smokies on sale here. Breakfast sausages. Uh, it's good to see. $3.99. Um, not on sale. This is a regular price. But this is a local 
run uh, shop here. If you guys remember when I was down at Finley Market, uh, they had their big market area where they have the big Eckrich Smokies and stuff. So, yeah, I always recommend paying a visit. If you visit Cincinnati to check out Finley Market, one of the biggest uh, farmer's markets in the country. They do have the Meyer Bratwurst and Italian sausages on sale. I will say if you get the hot Italian, that is ridiculously hot. Very hot. Too hot for me. Uh, the mild Italian, we've had it. You know, I still like Kroger better, in my opinion. Uh, but they are two for $8 this week. Uh, regular price, $5.89 for one. So, good deal there. We always get good comments on the right brand bacon. They have it on sale here at Meyer, a pound and a half for $9.49. Not much of a sale. Uh, regular price, $9.99. But, hey, 50 cents is 50 cents these days. They do have their chicken thighs on sale this week, again, for $1.49 a pound. Uh, I believe this is, yeah, the family pack, uh, which regular price now is $1.99 a pound. So that's pretty good there. Got a lot of the Katie's Best. Says this is on sale, the pastures, right? No, this ain't Katie's Best. This is uh, Pasture Ray's, it just says Cook's Venture. Is that what, oh yeah, okay, Cook's Venture. Uh, $6.99 each. Regular price $7.99, and they do have some of the Katie's Best here that we always get comments on. However, these are not on sale, these are just the regular prices. Okay, so a lot of people have been doing comparisons on store brand canned vegetables and how much they've gone up in price lately. So I wanted to point this out that Myers is still the same price, at least around here, 59 cents a can. 58 cents a can at Aldi for the Happy Harvest, 58 cents a can for the Great Value, uh, at Walmart, most of the ones at Kroger, and uh, they're almost a dollar now. Some of them are 89 cents, some of them are 99 cents. So, Myers is still a good option. I'm not a huge fan of the corn, but the peas are really good, um, and the green beans are good. Okay, so we've had some comments on pizza crust. Um, I do see they have this one here, 389. They got the little mini. Uh, classic crust Pillsbury ones for $3.49. We got some comments on those. Um, we got some different pie crust down here. The only pizza crust I see right there, $3.99 though. I know somebody was saying it had gone up from $2.99. I don't know if that was Meyer or Kroger. Um, but yeah, the Grands here, you know, $2.69 still. These have been like $3 pretty much everywhere else. So $2.69 is still a good deal on that. They did raise their uh, Meyer ones from $1.59 originally to $1.99, so I don't know. Well, I was going to do some scanning of things in question today, but it doesn't look like I'm going to have the chance because this is still turned off. Somebody had told me that they just didn't have it plugged in. It's been like this for three weeks, so, yeah, I don't know. Hey guys, well, I am back from Meyer. A couple things I wanted to go over in the ad that I missed. First of all, let me say that Myers was very crowded. I was asking people, like, what's going on today? Like, I, I have never, all the Mondays that I've gone to Meyer, I have never seen it this packed, especially in the grocery aisle. So, I don't know, it kind of made me think that there were some great deals. But I'm going to be honest with you, the deals really aren't that great. Um, the best deal that I saw there today was the T-Bone Steaks for $7.99 a pound. That's a good deal. Uh, everything else, not not so great. I, you know, I gotta be honest. Uh, I was expecting with this buy five and save five deal. I did ask another manager, and uh, he did say that he believes that it's multiples of five. So the other manager said that it was multiples of five. So we'll, we will assume, I guess, that it's multiples of five. I don't like how they're not clear on this stuff. And I did find a couple things that were not, I did not see in the store, like the pop here, the pop. We have the uh, Coca-Cola and Pepsi 24 packs on a sale price of $8.99, which is already a good deal, uh, on the buy five, save five deal, uh, makes it $7.99, which that's the regular price for a 12 pack at Kroger right now. They were so packed, and there were a lot of employees putting things out, so I assume that they had just gotten a truck, 
So it was really hard to get around. You guys know I don't get in anybody's way. Um, so, but a couple things. They do have the craft shredded or chunk cheese on part of the buy five. Uh, everything I'm going over here is the buy five and save five mix or match. You know, they're, they're really trying to follow Kroger here. And if you're going to do it like Kroger, do it like Kroger. But they have Breyers ice cream. Uh, $3.99, bringing it down to $2.99, and they have, and I'll just give the prices of what it is if you buy the five. Oscar Mayer bacon, $6.79. No, no. Um, and a couple other things. Uh, Miracle Whip, down to $3.49. We've been seeing mayonnaise kind of go on sale a lot of places, so. Uh, the Frederick's coffee we saw, $5.59 for the ground coffee. Uh, some cereals, Kellogg's large, large size cereal, um, not very specific. We didn't get to go down that aisle, but they just show Frosted Flakes and Apple Jacks. I, I don't know, but a lot of the sales that we see these days doesn't include like Raisin Bran. Now we saw where it did include that at Kroger. Not really sure. Um, that aisle was very packed. Most aisles were very packed. It was pretty crazy. One thing, um, so they do have the whole boneless pork tenderloin the pork back ribs or or pork back ribs buy one get one 50 percent off i did see multiple pork products that were the buy one get one 40 percent off there is a more extended list to about here of some of the buy five uh say five um deal here they have the planters peanuts uh brings those down the 16 ounce brings them down to a dollar 99 uh, the sour cream that we saw, the 24 ounce, 239, which that's kind of been going way up in price lately. Uh, the Velveeta cheese blocks. This is an interesting one because we've been seeing the big, let me make sure, okay, 32 ounces. Wanted to make sure it was the right size. Uh, we've been seeing the big ones go for almost $10 in a lot of stores. We've seen them for $9.99 at Kroger. I believe they might have went down to $8.99. Uh, one of those deals, but uh, regular price here or the sale price at Meyer is seven sixty nine, with the buy five save five deal, uh, six sixty nine. Uh, so that's a pretty good deal on Velveeta cheese. Uh, the Oikos yogurt with that five deal is two eighty nine for a four pack. That's a good deal. Um, Hellman's mayonnaise is on here too. Final price three ninety nine on the buy five deal. Um, and the six, six packs of pop when you buy five, uh, two ninety nine each. Um, now again, it's all mix and match. And I do like that. I like that you can mix and match it. You don't have to buy five things of pop. You can buy anything that is on these participating, uh, items right here. You can buy one of these, you can buy two of these, you can buy one of these, one of the, any multiples of five and it'll work. You know, one thing I will say about the pet food, I know we have we have been getting flooded with comments. This weekend, I had gone back uh, in a lot of the comments. Because we do videos every day, I try to keep up with the new uh, videos that we put out, all the comments, because we get a lot of comments on that initial first day of the video release. Um, but we have been getting flooded with past videos of, of uh, pet food and stuff like that. So I really wanted to point that out uh, first, and again, I will say if you're having trouble, a lot of our viewers use Chewy.com. A lot of our viewers also use Walmart, Walmart online, and theirs is $35 uh, free shipping still. So, and, and do check, do check. That is what it is around here, and a lot of our viewers have commented that they get the $35 deal too. Uh, and I understand in some cities, some states, they have like a, a payment plan or something with Walmart. I don't think they offer that here. Uh, they might, I'm not really too sure. But um, yeah, I mean, there's some okay deals at Meyer this week. Nothing that really sticks out to me though, like the steaks. Uh, the produce, I don't know. I just don't feel like, they, you know, other than the ears of corn, and, you know, I understand it's it's the season. That's why they're so cheap. But we would find, normally, last year, we'd find corn, you know, this time of year, 10 for a dollar. But it is what it is. All we can do is track down the sales as we see them, try to save money. We always try to save you guys money, save you on a little bit of gas. Um, and, you know, any way we can these days. You know, we have to buy up the sales when we see them and the things that we use and uh, budget our money good, become creative 
more creative in, in our meals and everything as, as we've been doing uh, to try and save a little bit of money. But guys, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed the video. With all that being said, I am out. And always remember, the adventure is out there.